hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi i know i keep disappearing anyway today i'm going to be doing a little review on this book nickelodeon the splat coloring book coloring is for all ages so don't judge someone if they're coloring and coloring books after a certain age i got this because coloring books are great stress relievers i love 90s cartoons i grew up watching them so this is the perfect thing to get. I got this on Amazon. So I'll leave the link in the description box. But also, they have different kinds as well. Um, I saw one for SpongeBob and one for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, this is a nice effect to it. I don't know if this is like a foil or something. But as soon as I opened the box, these, like it's scraped up already. Like, really... That's something minor though. This is this came out okay. But as you can see all the characters are on the cover. I really like it. Um, let's see the back. The 90s were all that, so we're bringing them back. Your favorite childhood cartoons come together in this very grown-up coloring book. Ah uh, Real Monsters, The Angry Beavers, Cat Dog, Hey Arnold, The Ren and Stimpy Show, Rocket Power, Rocco's Modern Life, Rugrats, and The Wild Thornberries. I wasn't a fan of the Walt Thornberries, but yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna be coloring in this book, so. I mean, I mainly got it because it has Ren and Stimpy, Hey Arnold, Rocco, and um, Regrets. Yeah, I have Real Monsters. But yeah, most of the shows I, I used to watch. Let's just skim through here really quickly. Can you see? Okay. So it, it has, some pages have patterns. He has the best room, like, ever. But let's continue. So a lot of pages have these patterns. And then on the other side, there's a quote. You're one of the good ones, man. All right. So that's on every page. There's going to be a quote over here on the left. And the right's the page where you color and this the paper quality is really good it's like kind of feels like card stuff but not as thick it's like a thinner not as thin as newsprint paper or copy paper but it's not thick it's not too thick either it's like a perfect consistency if you will but Cause I used to watch like the splat that comes on Nickelodeon now at nighttime. I would like if they would stop showing the same two or three shows and the same five episodes from all those shows and all that jazz. So I'm gonna take a page, use my coloring pencils to color, obviously. I guess we can also discuss my hiatus. Basically, um, after the Black History Month video, I was working on the next project, which was to draw someone for Women's History Month, which was in March. And it is um, the end of April right now. So I was, I decided to challenge myself and draw digitally instead of by hand like on paper i was drawing on the computer i like how it's coming out so far but it's taking a long time because i've never done it before i'm still gonna finish this drawing and i'll i'm recording it as i go if you follow me on instagram you've seen what i've been working on i'm trying to figure out a page to color in. maybe i should just start from the beginning and i read some reviews and some of them said that the pages come out really easily but i don't really mind that there's this type of binding and then there's a spiral bound this is called paperback this one was like $13 and the spiral one was like about 30 I feel better already this is really good paper not the flimsy ones that used to be in the other coloring books I had when I was younger this is really good quality and another thing is like a lot of adult coloring books have a things where you just color in a bunch of patterns or a bunch of curse words 
I don't want that. I want to color actual things. And this is perfect because it's the shows that I grew up watching and I used to draw them all the time. And I, I looked for other cartoons from Cartoon Network. And even recent shows, like regular show, they have them, but they're not by the company. Like, they're fan-made. But they had one for Adventure Time. I was like, really? How are you not going to have one for regular show? I looked for one specifically for Hey Arnold. But the one that's up there is fake, so if you see that, do not buy it. Even I follow the creator of Hey Arnold on Instagram, Craig Bartlett. He um, shared a picture of the coloring book that was fake just to expose this person and do not buy this book. Yeah, I actually went on a hunt to find a book I would like to color in. I'm liking this book so far. And even this video has been pushed back because I couldn't I couldn't find the time to do it. I think I got this about a month ago. I'm just now being able to draw in it, I mean color in it. Because I was just going to color in it one day, but I wanted to record it as a part of a, my review on it. I held back on coloring in here for the sake of that. I know there was a point on this channel where I would upload, try to upload at least once a week. I will not be able to do that and I mentioned this in another video last year. I'm working full time so therefore I don't have the same amount of time to work on videos like I used to but I do want to get back on drawing and uh, tutorials and reviews. For example I used Adobe Muse for my website but I'm thinking of changing um, the program I use to build my site so it's basically like uh, see Dreamweaver is like with coding so you build it through code and then Muse already has basic tools there and you build it it's you don't have to use any code from Adobe Muse so that's why I was using that because I did take web design but I don't want to be a web designer and there's another thing that Adobe has called Adobe Portfolio it's free to use if you already have an Adobe account and you could just build your site through there. I was thinking of doing a tutorial using Adobe Muse, but I was, I'm still learning how to use it as well. It's kind of limited to what I want to put on there, and I'm wondering if that's because I didn't update it to the latest version yet. I don't want to keep updating all the time. That's annoying. And then the latest versions be crashing, so then I really don't want to update it to the latest version. This goes for any app update. It doesn't necessarily mean Adobe, it means like even on the phone. I was thinking of just using Adobe Portfolio or I might use something completely different. I don't know, but if you wanna know what my website looks like and you haven't seen it already, it's always in the description box of my videos. So the links to my Facebook, Instagram, and my website are always in the description box. I'm not gonna make a promise I can't keep. Therefore, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna upload whenever I can. Cause it's definitely not gonna be once a week. And I was trying to make it once a month. I'll still try, but it's not guaranteed. But just know that I will still upload whenever I can. Whether it's a DIY, a tutorial, whichever, I got you. Since this is Rugrats, this was the longest running show on Nickelodeon until SpongeBob came along. And I love Spongebob, like the old episodes, but let's be honest, after the movie, the first movie they had, they should have ended it. Because they were supposed to, but the show was so popular that they kept it going. And then the original creator left, and then that's when it got really bad. I think he recently came back. I haven't seen any of the newer episodes since he came back, so I don't know how it is now, but there was this one episode, I think it was the big one with Johnny Depp as one of the guest voice actors I sat through the entire episode without giggling or laughing nothing not even a smile don't get me wrong I love Johnny Depp it's not his fault the episode was boring after that episode I just stopped watching altogether probably only gonna get to see me color her for this video because my camera's gonna cut off a limited amount of space on here. I need a bigger um, card with more gigabytes in it because this one only has eight. I need at least 16. But anyway, it's funny how people wanted uh, Rugrats to grow up and then when they finally did with the new show All Grown Up, they had canceled it. 
I don't know what people were expecting. If they grow up, they're not gonna have the same adventures they had when they were little kids because they were using a lot of their imagination. Whereas if they grow up, it's not gonna be the same concepts. I don't know what they were expecting to happen and the, when they did get older. But I, I liked the show All Grown Up. Of course, it wasn't the same as Rugrats, but it was still a good show. Let's see, let's describe the characters. I liked all of them, but Angelica was super annoying and sometimes she really got on my nerves. Like, why can't you just, just leave them alone? Just just this one episode, just, just leave them alone. Kimmy, Kimmy's cool. Her and Tommy are a thing. I'm not surprised there. Chucky is always scared and sometimes I felt really bad for him. That episode when they was um, showing his mom was the saddest episode ever. It really make you cry. Dill, it was annoying sometimes. Just like in the, the Rugrats movie, Phil was too through with him. <laughs> Cause Tommy was like, oh no, the monkeys have Dill. And then Phil was like, so? So then Tommy was like, we need to go save him or something like that. And Phil said, what do you mean we? Like, you're basically on your own. I'm not helping you get him. He's annoying. He, sometimes he was annoying. Sometimes he was funny. Um, Phil at, at one point was my favorite one. But I don't think I have a favorite now. I like them all. Phil and Lil are hilarious. Tommy is the brains. He's the most adventurous. That's why I like a lot of the old shows have where all the characters have their own different personalities. But a lot of the newer shows are really generic. They even have the same drawing style. So you can't tell the difference between the shows sometimes. And Susie, the one I'm coloring in now, I really liked her because she didn't take no mess from nobody, especially Angelica. You know, I wish there was a coloring book for as told by Ginger. That was my show. I looked everywhere for one and I could not find one. It's even hard to find all the episodes. And I could go into a whole rant about the characters on that show, but it's not necessary. I definitely didn't like all the characters on that show. So um, Dodie, I think I hated the most. Hate is a strong word, but I'm using it here. She cared more about herself than her friends. She did that one episode where she said, okay, I'm not gonna be so selfish and try so hard to fit in. Guess what? She went right back to doing the same thing all over again. So she was full of it and I knew it. She was on the pep squad. She wanted to be a cheerleader so bad that she was willing to not even tell her best friend what was going on between the other cheerleader and Darren. She was so selfish. She was thinking of herself only. Miranda, I, I, she was mean, but I kind of liked her character still. It's just that she was too clingy to um, Courtney, and she hated Ginger because Courtney really liked her, and it's like it's not that deep. Back off. Mipsy also, I hated her. She was just a brat, like one of those popular girls where you're just like, <sighs> go away. Courtney, I had no problems with Courtney. Yeah, my main problem was with Dodie. Can't stand her. And then Darren, like once, he was unreasonable. Like, she can't always make it to every, Ginger can't always make it to every game you go to. And he didn't even try to hear her, hear her out as to why she couldn't make it to his game. And then when she tried to make it, he didn't try to hear it. What was stupid was that episode where she had detention. She had Dodie dressed as, um, herself she had Dodie dresses ginger and then ginger was in detention but no one knows what you look like in detention so why didn't you let Dodie dresses you in detention and then you could have seen darren at the game however they didn't think that way darren was already over the relationship i think he just wanted a reason to get out of there and start dating simone oh so much drama but i really like that show and the, the movie they had with so many unanswered questions, it might be a bit much to ask for another movie, 
but I mean if Hey Arnold can do it after all these years then why not Ginger? And I love that jungle movie by the way. Only thing the parents though they like, seem kind of like their personalities weren't really there. That was the only issue I had. Other than that it was just like old times with that movie. If you haven't seen it then you should definitely watch it. Videos I want to upload on here on this channel besides the one I'm working on. It's still like an inspirational woman. Hopefully I can get it out in time. What else? Black Panther, like of course I have to draw Black Panther. That movie was everything. And if it doesn't get any awards, there's going to be a serious problem. Who else? What else? I wanna draw some other people. I had a list of some of them in my last video that I did for the black icons. I don't know, there's a lot, there's a lot. Most of them are musicians. Why are they musicians? Because I listen to music a lot of the time. When I'm working on something or if I'm feeling a certain way, I gotta listen to some music. Well, anyway, if this camera decides to shut off while I'm coloring still, which it will do, Thanks for checking this out. I'll put the finished piece at the end of the video if you care to look at it. Stay tuned for the next video. See you later. Here is the finished result of what I colored in. Um, it probably should be colored in some more. Like I think this is the floor here, but I was confused as to like, is this Susie's leg and part of her dress? Is that Lil's um, foot right there? Is that Phil's shorts with his uh, leg and can't really see his foot? I don't know, so I was just gonna leave it the way it is. Overall, I really like this covering book. I mean, if the pages do come out, it's not really that much of a big deal to me. I'll leave the link in the description box if you wanna get this coloring book or any other coloring book similar to this on Amazon. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Okay, bye-bye.